yesterday on the 26th of July. This PC-12 November 357 Hotel Echo went down over northern Wyoming. Seven souls on board, seven fatalities, including three members of the Nellens Family Gospel Band. Here's what we know so far. My name is Juan Brown. You're watching the Blanco Lirio Channel. Starting with the Aviation Safety Network, Friday, 26 July, 2024, 1305 local time, Plattis PC-12, owner-operator Haney Enterprises, Incorporated, November 3. 57 Hotel Echo, a PC-12 manufactured in 2010, seven fatalities, north of Gillette, Wyoming. They had departed Nebraska City Municipal Airport and were en route to Billings Logan International Airport, Billings, Montana. A Platus PC-12 November 357 Hotel Echo was destroyed when it crashed north of Gillette, Wyoming. The pilot and six passengers perished in the accident. Unconfirmed reports suggest the aircraft was flying at 260, flight level 260, that's 26,000 feet, when the pilot reported they were losing control. The airplane was seen in a dive with an average rate of about 30,000 feet per minute at the end of the recorded data. The crash sparked a forest fire. I don't know about a huge forest fire, but it, it did spark a fire. The data here on FlightAware shows 7 Hotel Echo departing the AFK airport, the Nebraska City Municipal Airport, at about 12 p.m. Central Daylight Time, and then climbing right up to a cruise altitude of about 24,000 feet on the autopilot, and then climbing later as they burned off fuel up to 26,000 feet, and then encountering trouble just as they crossed into the northern part of Wyoming as they were approaching a line of weather that was moving through the area. If we go back and look at Zoom Earth for about this same time, this is Pacific time here, we can see this line of weather just passing through the area where the aircraft was last seen on radar. The Platus PC-12 is a very popular single-engine turboprop aircraft with a maximum gross weight just under 10,500 pounds and is certified to operate as a single pilot aircraft. The VMO or maximum operating speed of the aircraft is 240 knots indicated airspeed. Looking at the granulated data from FlightAware, we can see the aircraft departing and climbing out at over 1,000 feet per minute up to 19,000 feet and then continuing the climb to 24,000 feet at less than 1,000 feet per minute, which is typical. And then later in the flight, climb to 26,000 feet. And two hours into the flight at 26,000 feet, they begin to lose control of the aircraft. 26,000, 25,000, 23,000. Rate of climb initially, 490 feet per minute. Rate of descent, 1,000 feet per minute. Rate of descent, 5,000, 4,500 feet per minute. But it's these turns here. It looks like the aircraft makes several turns before completely losing control of the aircraft. And knots, prior to losing control of the aircraft, they have a ground speed. This is ground speed of 250 knots. Remember, VMO is 240 knots indicated airspeed big difference between ground speed and indicated airspeed so these are normal cruise speeds but towards the end of this data here the ground speed of the aircraft spikes at a high of 316 knots more than likely exceeding the vmo or maximum operating speed of the aircraft we have yet to see anything of the wreckage of the aircraft, but the first thing investigators will have to find are the four corners of the aircraft. In other words, did the aircraft break up in flight after ex exceeding VMO? And it's more than likely that it did break up in flight because the last data point was way up there at 23,400 feet. And if we take the KML data from the preliminary ADSB information and drop it into Google Earth, we can see the aircraft begin a descent from its cruise altitude and then do a series of turns. There's a 360 degree turn to the right, a descending left hand turn, and then a descending right hand turn before losing the data.
The 2010 Pilatus PC-12 is registered to Haney Enterprises, Inc. of Henderson, Nevada, though I believe the aircraft is based in Georgia. Oftentimes, these aircraft are registered out of state for tax purposes. And in this still picture taken from a video from their prior fuel stop just before the accident, we see the pilot, Larry Haney, located over here on the right. So we believe that Larry is the owner of the PC-12 aircraft. Larry, the owner of the aircraft, is also a board member on the Georgia Department of Corrections and serves as chairman. According to the FAA database, the single pilot on board, Larry Haney, has a private pilot certificate, aircraft single engine land, multi engine land, and is instrument rated. He wears glasses and hearing amplification. This initial report from the air traffic control facility has been circulating on social media. 26 July 2024 at 1900Z, November 357 Hotel Echo, PC-12 Summary, November 357 Hotel Echo reported that their autopilot failed and they declared an emergency. R-15, the controller, asked where they would like to land shortly after when queried. November 357 Hotel Echo responded that they were trying to get control of it. The aircraft mode C displayed multiple altitude changes. R-15 advised Hotel Echo of the MIA in the area. Radio and radar communication was lost at 1906. The autopilot on the PC-12, like a lot of autopilots, will kick off if it gets in too rough or too turbulent of a condition, the kind of conditions that are very common when flying through convective activity like this. The autopilot will also kick off if it gets an extreme out of trim condition with the aircraft. Another thing investigators will be looking at is the possibility of icing conditions in the area at the time of the accident. Why Larry, the only pilot on board the aircraft with a private pilot rating, was unable to maintain control of the aircraft once the autopilot kicked off is what investigators are going to have to determine. Thank you so much for your support of this channel, especially the folks over on Patreon that make this content possible. See you here.